Hey you guys, it's Casey. <clears throat> I'm just waking up. Um, but I wanted to make this video because I have um, a haul from Scentsy and I wanted to get it up so that I could get um, the products out. I honestly, I think I know what one is, but the other one I don't know and I like looked through to see um, like what, um, what was delivered and none of them say they were delivered. So um, I mean, it definitely has my information on it. So I'm sure it's one of the four orders I have pending. So let's see. Um, so as you guys know, I live in Texas and so Scentsy has a, um, has a warehouse, um, in Popple, Texas. Um, and so what that normally means for me is that I get my stuff really quick. Aha, I do know what this is now. Um, but because of the winter storm, like, um, things are just kind of saying like that they are, um, delayed and don't ha really have like a, a time for delivery yet so that's why I don't really know what um, what I'm getting but I do know what this is now so this is the um, etched core silver warmer I've already unboxed this for you guys in my um, warmer of the month in January I returned mine and the reason I returned it is that it was not melting wax like I expect since he warmers to melt wax. Um, so if you have a Scentsy warmer that does not work properly and you are, um, and you have a consultant, just reach out to them. They can reach out to, um, con uh, consultant report, uh, support and, um, replace it. Um, they have a lifetime guarantee. So gosh, my hair is cray. Um, so anyway, I, um, it wasn't melting wax. And, and when I say wax, I was melting, um, just Scentsy wax in it and um, it just wasn't melting. It wasn't melting all the way, it wasn't pulling out. It would stay in kind of chunks for long periods or forever. Um, I changed the light bulb, that did not work. And um, they suggested that I put it in a different area. Um, the place I had it is a place that I have had some kind of warmer for four years maybe. So I didn't think it was the location of like the vents or anything like that. So um, I sent mine back and they replaced it with a new one. So I will be, um, I will be getting um, that one in the right spot and seeing how it works. And then I know the next one is a haul. Um, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger. Um, so I have some great friends who are as addicted to Sunsea Wax as I am. And um, so they begged me to place an order. And of course I obliged. Um, I had stuff on my list anyway, so might as well, right? Um, and so when you get an order from Sunsea, you always get a packing slip. Um, that might seem like something to pass up, but, I, but you should always look because you want to look in this column and see if there's anything that's back ordered, B.O. Um, this one has all of the things that I um, ordered. So I had 26 things ordered and 20 th 26 things shipped. So that's good news. So the first thing that I ordered, these are for me, um, is da -da -da -da, cotton cleanups. I love me some cotton cleanups. I just think that they are super convenient. They are... Um, I use them all the time. Some of my warmers don't have removable dishes. Normally I kind of hot dump, which just means I take, um, once the wax is pulled out, I um, go and dump it in the um, trash can or a cup and wipe it out and um, then it's clean. But uh, for the warmers that don't have removable dishes, um, that's a pain in the butt, right? Like you can't take the, like, I wouldn't, I guess, take the warmer and dump it out. So um, you just have this little cotton thing that has a little handle and I just stick it in there. It sucks up the wax and then I just throw this away. I can usually use this for two or three warmers, one little thing. Um, so I don't ever want to be without these. So I got three of those. Um, then I got some new stuff. I got lots of Scentsy paper. Um, I got some new stuff though from myself. So you guys know um, I love me some Scentsy Soaks. So they have a new one. Water, look at how cute that is. Watermelon Tangerine. 
and this is two pounds of Epsom salt, and I um, love, 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 love Scentsy Soap, um, and so I think I have gotten all of the new. I got Luna, I got Hibiscus Pineapple, and now I've gotten this one, um, and in the catalog right now, we have a lot to choose from, actually, and um, I mean, I'm so glad we do. I don't need anymore right now, but um, it's one of those things that, like the cotton cleanups, like I don't wanna be without. So I um, I sometimes order just to make sure that I have it. Um, so the Scentsy Soak is 12, 12 bucks, and right now the scents that they have are aloe water and cucumber. I do have that. Um, it is um, on the scale of Scentsy Soak. I would say it was on the lighter side, but it actually still um, scents the bathroom very nicely. Um, I don't like the smell of cozy cardigan um, and wax, and so I will not order it in the Scentsy Soak, but it is a very well-loved scent, and I've heard in the Scentsy Soak it's amazing. Um, Go Go Mango I have not tried. Um, Hibiscus Pineapple is new, and I have it, and it. Um, I, I will give my full review. I just have tried it one time in my bath. Um, I would say that it is much lighter than most of the scents um, in Scentsy Soak, um, but I I just like take a handful and pour it in. And so I don't have like a really good system of like how much to put in. Um, so um, I don't want to give it a full review until I um, I use it more than once because I could have just used like not as much as I normally do. Um, I have Luna. I haven't opened it yet, but I do have it. I have tried Now and Zen and Now and Zen is super strong and very nice. Um, pineapple, coconut, vanilla, I have not yet tried. Pink cotton, I have not yet tried. Prickly Pear and Agave, I love that for Scentsy Soak, love. Um, Shimmer, I've tried um, a couple of times. I don't, I've never bought a um, bag, but I've gotten several samples of it and it's very nice. And then now I have my watermelon tangerine, so I'm very excited. Um, I also like have in rotation the um, Best Berry that's from the, um, the Valentine's collection. And I have Winterberry Apple Tea, which last time I checked was still in the clear it section. Oh, I told you I'm tired. Um, and if you have not tried Scentsy Soak and you like Winterberry Apple Tea, that is an amazing soak. It is super strong. I have three bags. I kind of wanted to get more. Um, but I need to just like slow my roll on like how many Scentsy Soaks do I need? I think I have like five bags right now. So, um, but if you, um, want to try Scentsy Soak, I would highly recommend Winterberry Apple Tea. It's a really good one. Um, the other thing I got is Watermelon Tangerine, um, Scrub. I love that these are in the catalog. I cannot go through these as fast as I buy them either, but I really like them. Um, so the scrubs are also, um, 12 bucks. And this is the first catalog where they've made like a permanent um, home for um, for scrubs. Know that in the um, clearance, there's also um, Winterberry Apple Tea Scrub. So I, I would get that. So the sugar scrub, I um, I have Hibiscus Pineapple, which I've already got um, gotten. Luna, I've already gotten. Um, and Watermelon Tangerine. Um, they say it's not new because it was part of the summer collection, but I did not get it. So I'm excited. And then they also have... Um, pineapple coconut vanilla, um, which I have not tried yet. Um, right now I'm using the peppermint one from, um, from, um, the, like, holiday collection, and I really liked it so much that I ordered two from the clearance as well. So, um, hey, Bugs, you want to let, let our little girl be on camera? This is my baby, and my other baby. This is Lot. I love these guys. I have never had um, guinea pigs and my littlest one wanted one so bad. And then Santa brought hers too. And I have loved, loved, loved having them. So, um, okay. Next thing I got was a star wall fan diffuser. This is for a friend. Um, I love the wall fan diffusers. I think that they are, um, I think that they are great. I actually really like the um, wall fan, the, what are they? The mini fan diffusers that you um, like put into your, um, that you put into your like car or um, you can plug into your computer, I really like those. So um, my friend that got this also got a six pack 
So she got French lavender, two of those. And French lavender, to me, is definitely herbal lavender with kind of a hint of, um, it definitely has like a lavender note, but to me it kind of smells like a um, health food store. So kind of like those barrels. Um, so, it, but it's good. I, I like French lavender. Um, Coastal Sunset is a new one. And I'm so glad she got this one. Um, this one has surprised me. It's very coconutty, but it's super strong. Um, and it's like like coconut and um, like kind of sea salt. And um, it's really good. So she got two of those and then she got two sand swept. Now, I really am liking sand swept too. Um, so sand swept is like they say that there's lemon and that there's some like grass notes and I'm telling you what I think it smells like which is like salty sea air and rocks like rock dust and I do smell a little lemon on the back end um and I know that sounds like why would you want your house to smell like that but it's such an interesting scent I'm actually really liking this so I'm glad she got this and then I have a friend that is obsessed with pods so she got a ton um so i will tell you about the pod she did get one pod pack that i'm super interested to smell um so i'll leave that one for the end um i told her she got a lot <laughs> okay so she got two squeeze the day so squeeze the day is just like a bright lemon scent with like some sugar crystals in the pods, um, I don't get as much sugar crystals and, and more um, just straight up lemon. Um, hibiscus pineapple, she got two of these. I love hibiscus pineapple. In the pot, they smell much stronger than in the wax. Um, this is um, like hibiscus kind of floral pineapple-y note. It's very nice. Um, I really like the wax and I wish it was stronger. And um, the pods actually smell much stronger. So they that might be a, um, a good grab. Um, Prickly Pear and Agave, she got two of those. And, oh, this one is so good. It's so hard to describe. So it's very green and kind of like a sweet, so like green and like sweetened up like with probably agave nectar. Um, it is it is gorgeous. I love this. It's so different. Um, so um, I one Amazon Rain. Amazon Rain is great. It is like a beautiful like spa hotel kind of it's very nice <laughs> um she got two just breathe and um i have not i have bought this wax but not warmed it yet it smells like so in the pods it smells a little bit different um in the pods it smells like very eucalyptus and almost vicks vapo rubby um in the wax, there's like more of almost a lemony note. Um, but this actually, I mean, like, I don't know why, but I really like that smell. I don't know. I know that sounds weird, but I do. I got a cocoa lime. Um, and this one doesn't smell as strong as the wax. Um, the wax is very like co cocoa, very lime, um, like almost the rind of a lime, um, like, um, like almost a bitter note. Um, it does not smell like powdered lime. It does not smell artificial. It smells like real lime to me. Um, and then she got Bonfire, Bonfire Beach and this is marshmallows, um, smoke and like flint, I think. Um, so this smells good. Um, and then this is the one that I was really interested in. So you guys know iridescent pearl on cold to me smells really pretty but in a warmer, I cannot smell it at all. Like three cubes, four cubes, can't smell at all. Can't smell it. Like even if my nose is right over the warmer, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. So I really wanna smell it in the pods. Oh, these smell good. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to buy these. Um, okay, so I don't even know the notes of iridescent pearl cause I'm like so not impressed with the wax. Um, so what does it say here? Iridescent pearl is juicy mango, apple blossom, and water lotus. So I definitely get what to me smells like 
what I think an apple blossom smells like. So it's kind of a floral with an apple note. And it does smell aquatic. So I, that is the water lotus, I'm assuming. I don't know that I necessarily smell, maybe I do smell mango. Let me see, let me do. No, I guess I do. I do smell mango, but I would I would say the apple blossom is first and then the mango. So she got two of those. So that's the haul, y'all. So I, um, I'm really excited to deliver this stuff out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.